Hello, fellow Xamarin nerds. In this lesson, we're going to cover the awesome new workbook functionality that comes with Xamarin's new inspector tool. So we're going to kick things off by making sure our Xamarin inspector app has been launched. And I want to go up to File, New. Each workbook within the Xamarin Inspector tool needs to be associated with a particular platform. As of right now, we don't have the Forms platform, but we do have Xamarin.Mac, Xamarin.iOS, and Xamarin.Android. For this demonstration, I'm going to select Xamarin.iOS and hit Create Workbook. And when we first create the workbook, you'll see we have this loading indicator, and that's because the workbook needs to connect to our iOS simulator, as you can see here on the right. So as with any new uh, platform or tool or computer language, we like to kind of kick things off and kind of get ourselves oriented by uh, writing a hello world statement. So to do that, I'm going to type console.writeline. And as you see, as I type, I have this really nice IntelliSense that will let me know what methods and properties I can access with the particular piece of functionality that I'm interacting with. I'm going to say hello world. And then I want to add a semicolon and hit return. And we can see what our output for this line of code would be. One of the things that makes the workbook functionality of Xamarin Inspector pretty cool and interesting is that we can also annotate and comment our code with regular rich text. So I can type in here, this is an example of using console to output a trace statement. And if I select my text, I can format it. So I can make this bold. I can also make console bold. If I uh, want to link to something, I can do that here, etc. So it's really cool. So there, this kind of creates a lot of potential for Xamarin workbooks for documentation or education or tutorial purposes. Hence why I'm doing this lesson. So writing out to the console is all well and good. What else can we do with our code? I'm going to create a list of colors. And we're going to do red, green, blue to kick things off. And if I hit return, we'll see the workbook's REPL lets us know what we instantiated and what's inside it. Something else I can do is now that I declared this color list variable, I can also say for each bar C and color list. And now when I hit return after uh, hitting the opening curly brace, I can enter in a new line of code for this block of code. And I can say console.writeline C. And now since I close my curly bracket, if I hit return, oh, we have this nice compiler error. I didn't finish my line correctly. And now, since I fixed that, I can now see the output of our various colors. Now, if I want to update my list here, if I want to add the color purple, if I hit return, we see I now have that. However, my output here has not updated, but it has been grayed out to tell me that it is out of date. If I hit return here, now I can see uh, the updated contents. Also, if I remove this de variable declaration, now uh, when I hit return, we see nothing gets outputted. And here, I now get a runtime error. That color list does not exist. So the scope works very similar to what you're used to in a real coding environment. So now if I update that, oops colors list. Again, I have to hit return here, hit return there, and now we're good to go. So while using kind of like primitives and whatnot in C Sharp is cool and whatnot, in the real world when we're making the application, we're going to need to use uh, more sophisticated features of the .NET framework. And with this in mind, the workbooks functionality of Xamarin Inspector allows us to import different namespace. So in this particular instance, I'm going to import system.net. And now I should have access to all the functionality of system.net. So I can say new 
web client create my instance and here I can inspect web client and I can see my base address is empty so let's go ahead and populate that so I'm gonna say base address equals HTTP google.com and here again we get a null output because this particular statement doesn't return anything nor are we writing anything out to the console and now I'm going to say w I'm gonna say var contents equals OC download string and we're not gonna pass a URI we're just gonna say the root of the URL and now when I hit return we can see that the web client successfully uh, hit google.com and here's all the contents of that particular web page so as you can imagine this is a great opportunity to maybe write documentation on how to use a web service or uh, how to use a particular library that you may have written so as you can see there's a lot of potential with workbooks and xamarin inspector and i look forward to diving deeper into it in our next video